Has the Black Rabbit Brotherhood been giving you trouble in Liza P? Well, in this boss guide, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to defeat the Black Rabbit Brotherhood in an easy way, no skill required. So my whole goal with all of my boss guides is to get people through the game and let them enjoy the game. No get good needed. So if you like this, please hit the like and subscribe. It really means so much to me as a content creator. And this whole guide is timestamped and chaptered for your viewing convenience. Now let's get right into the content. So the first step to defeating this boss easily is go to the Malum District in Chapter 5. You should have already unlocked the Red Lobster Inn before you get to the boss arena, so no problem there. Go inside the Red Lobster Inn and hang a right and go up the ladder. Who you're looking for is the Black Market Trader. The Black Market Trader will say that he only trades with members of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Just say that you have the mark and he'll trade with you. Now, depending on your primary damage attribute, you're going to want different items. If you're doing motivity like me, you're going to want to have the shot puts. If you do technique and or a dexterity style build, then you're going to want sharp pipes. But either way, buy this main item and also buy the body carcass grenades. These are extremely good against the Black Rabbit Brotherhood as we're going to be showing just in a minute. So buy as many as you can afford. I would suggest having a couple thousand credits. You don't need a huge amount but definitely get three to five of each and you should be great. So I bought primarily shot puts and body carass grenades but if you are a technique build then definitely get shot pipes instead of shot puts. So that's basically the first step to beating this boss. Once you have that, let's go on to the actual boss arena. We've got our consumables. Now let's clap the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. So the biggest thing I would recommend in phase one when you're facing just the eldest brother is to be sure to dodge and block. Block a lot. He has a lot of very, very powerful strikes, including one really dangerous spinning attack where he basically whirlwinds towards you and another attack where he does an overhead strike that can chop like half of your health bar. So these are both very dangerous. Try the boss a couple times without a specter just to get a feeling for his speed. But we're going to be using the specter to easily defeat the boss. And the primary reason we're using the specter is to draw boss aggro. Like I said, all of my guides and I'm doing a boss guide for every boss in the game is built around defeating bosses with no get good needed. So pull in the specter here. He's going to pull some aggro and try to hit the eldest brother in the back. Now it's important to realize that you only need to kill the eldest brother, ignore everybody else. There's going to be three other brothers and sisters coming in as the boss fight continues. You don't want to use any of your consumables in this first phase. When it's only the eldest brother, you want to basically trade aggro with the specter and try to do as much damage as you can before you use consumables. Save all your consumables for a later part of the fight and don't be afraid to dodge backwards and block. This is a great boss fight to do so. So now we're getting to the real secret to making this boss extremely trivial which is using the flame legion on flameberg as well as your shot puts, shot pipes and carcass bombs and you will see you will absolutely melt this boss. So what I would recommend is with your specter try to focus on melee attacks throughout the first phase. As soon as his brothers and sisters get involved and he wants to play dirty you play dirty too. Start using your flame legion arm, light your weapon on fire, try to deal as much damage and get an overheat if possible. As soon as that's done and you've gotten at least one overheat, start throwing your either shot puts or shot pipes. Remember, if you're using technique based builds, you should be using shot pipes because of the scaling. And if you're using motivity based builds, you should be using shot puts. Also remember that the carcass bombs that I had talked about do incredible acid damage. You see that each one of these takes away like 10 to 20% of his health bar just in a single strike. So with this, you're going to easily be able to crush Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hope this guide was helpful for you. I wanted to keep it short. I wanted to keep it concise. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a boss guide for every boss in the game. And thank you guys so much. I really hope this helped you.